now you sit there and I'll give you a few tips of the trade, all right? <laughs> oh, a private buffoon is a light I did loon if you listen to popular rumour. From the morn to the night he's so joyous and bright and he bubbles with wit and good humour. His acquaintance so terse both in prose and in verse it let people forgive his transgression. There are one or two rules that all family fools must observe if they love their profession. There are one or two rules, half a dozen maybe, that all family fools of whatever degree must observe if they love their profession. If you wish to succeed as a jester, you'll need to consider each person's auricula. What is all right for B will quite scandalise C, for C is so very particular. And D may be dull and his very thick skull is as empty your brains as a ladle, while F is F sharp and will cry with a carp that he's known your best joke from the cradle. When your humour they flat, you can't let yourself go. And it does put you out when a person says, Oh, I've known that old joke from the cradle. If your master is surly from getting up early and tempers are short in the morning, and an Alpertine joke is enough to provoke him to give you at once a month's warning, then if you refrain, he is at you again, for he likes to get value for money. He'll ask then and there with an insolent stare. If you know that you're paid to be funny, it adds to the task of a merry man's place when your principal laughs with a scowl on his face. If you know that you're paid to be funny, comes a bishop, maybe, or a solemn DD, or beware of his anger provoking. Better not put his head and stick pins in his chair. He don't understand practical joking, see? If the jest you crack have an orthodox smack, you may get a bland smile from these sages. But should they by chance be imported from France. <laughs> Off a crowd is stopped out for your wages. It's a general rule, though you see it may quench. If the family fault us a shock, that's too French. Off a crowd is stopped out of his wages. Uh, though your head it may rack with a bilious attack and your sense with two that you're losing. Don't be mopey and flat, they don't find you for that if you're properly quaint and amusing. Though your wife ran away with a soldier that day and took with you a trifle of money. Bless your heart, they don't mind. They're exceedingly kind. They don't blame you so long as you're funny. It's a comfort to feel if your partner should fit. Though you suffer a deal, they don't mind it a bit. They don't blame you so long as you're funny. 